Here's the thing, Joe. Why don't you? Why don't we Joe. do this? Why Joe. don't you schedule with me a debate? I'll bring Joe, somebody who understands Joe, Arabic and we'll do a formal debate. I don't want to keep hearing on and on. I'm in the middle of a point, and I, now, now you guys are telling me you can talk whenever you want. No, I'm no, going no, to whistle. Joe. I'm going to whistle. Joe. Joe, let me just explain to you without you interrupting, if I could. Uh, Hamza, I have no problem with you explaining. All right, all right, stop interrupting then. Let me talk. I, I'm interrupting you because after Ijaz spoke, why can't I speak? All right, because Ijaz, Ijaz oh, okay, okay, I'll explain, I'll explain. Ijaz okay, was after you explain, I'll decide whether or not I stay. Because I'm okay, not here fine. for one No problem, no problem. Just Joe, 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 this ain't the Joe show. This ain't the Joe show. Just one second. Okay, so Ijaz, what Ijaz did to you then, he explained to you that when you come on, you don't set the rules. EF Tower have rules, this, that, the other. I right? understand that. Uh, right, right, right. Now I'm telling you what the rules are. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, uh, this is a continuation of what he just said, right? Now, here's how it works. I've noticed that you've done this now. When you do this two minute thing, you ignore what's been said to you in your in the other person's two minutes and you just, you, you, you give a false premise and then you build upon it and, the, and the, as if you've got a solid argument. And then you, and then you say, why haven't you responded to this solid argument when we're challenging the premise, right? So what we like to do here is exactly what the doctor did. We go right to the beginning. So. If you say something, and even if it's in the first 10 seconds, and it's a false premise, we're going to challenge it. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Can I do and that? if you can hold that position, can and, and if you can hold that position, if you can hold that position, and, and you, can, you can demonstrate that your position is valid, we'll, we'll move on to the next point. Now, the doctor made a beautiful point here. See, hold you on, made... I'm asking you, can I interrupt you in the first 10 seconds if I disagree with what you're saying? If you say it again, sorry. Yeah, if we're building on a false premise, you can challenge what we say. Challenge yes, no problem. Right. Imran so, was building on a false premise. All right, Joe. I mean, now you're interrupting again. The false premise again. that Imran was building on is that we as Christians need Joe, the revelation. Joe, of no, Joe, Jesus. what the doctors See, now you're interrupting Joe. I knew it wouldn't work, but I tried as long as I can. You have shown yourself not to be able yep, to run have Run away, no problem. Joe, run away, Joe. Joe. It's not the Joe show. It's never was supposed to be the Joe show. Well, it I seems like it. Could you and I, could I challenge you? Could you and I have a conversation? And then I couldn't even ask my question without you interrupting me. How is that a challenge? No, 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 no. If no, you no, want no, to no, I'll, re I'll read the verse. I'll read the verse. Can, Say I, can I just make my point? Can I just make my point quickly? Joe, Joe, Joe. Comes up. Now, no one's even letting me talk. I guess that's what you want. Okay. Say, O prophet, O people of the book, you have nothing to stand on unless you observe the Torah, the gospel, and what has been revealed to you from your Lord. And your Lord's revelation to you, O prophet, will only cause many of them to increase in wickedness and disbelief. So do not grieve for the people who disbelieve. The Quran's clear with you, mate, Joe. 47, 68, go in a flow. And that's what I'm trying to show you. In the flow, Hamza, the ones who are judging are the people of the book. Did what you are they judging? <laughs> they are judging what has been revealed to the prophet. No, no, 548. Prophet. Just read 548, Joe. No, no, no. My friends, Just read 548. You get listen, your answer. I'm read 548. Joe, because now I can see at one point there was someone. All right, just was run. All right, just run, Joe, and I'll read 548. I'll read, let me read. Let me read. Yeah, okay, read 548. I run, I run because you didn't treat your guest right. And in my house, I treat you how I want. Show. It doesn't matter. Right. Leave if you have to leave. We, we have revealed to you. On my show, I'll give you each the same amount of time. And I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going The translation is the translation of the Muhammadan. I have revealed to you, O Prophet, this book with the truth as a confirmation of previous scriptures and a supreme authority on them. So do do them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their desires over the truth that has come to yes. you. To each of you, we have ordained a code of law and a way of life. If Allah had willed, he would have made you one community. The criterion is the Quran. So, you know, Joe, the criterion is the Quran. All nope. you had to do was read the very next verse. I apologize to Abbas that he didn't get time to speak. And, you know, Joe, thank God I didn't go to your church. I've been an atheist on the first day after your first sermon. I, Abbas, please say what you to say. I apologize. The point that I wanted to make was that Imran and Uh, interestingly, he said Tabari, Qurtubi, uh, and he said Tabari, Ibn Abbas, and 548. Unfortunately, at the Sham, I'm going to have to say, you probably haven't read what they said in context. Here's Tabari's view of chapter 5, verse 40. I want everyone to listen.
Tabari Qurtubi Ibn Kathir say there's more than one interpretation about Muhaymanin Ali. That's the phrase you're referring to, where it says in a garden over it. Here is Tabari, word for word. Does it mean what you said, Tabari claimed it meant? Okay. Regarding Muhaymin, Allah says that he brought down the book to you, O Muhammad, believing in the books that came before it and a witness to them, that they are truth from Allah, faithful to them and a protector to them. Nothing about corruption. That the Quran was sent, Muhammad, that bears witness, your books, truth from Allah, the Quran is faithful to them and protects them. The root of Haymana means to protect and watch over. That is why it is said when a man watches over something and protects it, it has Haymana over it. The present form of the verb is Yuhaymin, and the noun is Haymana. Based on what we have mentioned, the people of interpretation, the Mufassirun, have differed in their explanation. Of this word. So number one, Itisham. The scholars you cite, Qurtubi, Tabari, they admit that the Mufassirun, the commentators, didn't agree they had different interpretations. That's number one. Number two, he says one of the meanings is the Quran bears witness that they are the truth from God. The Quran is faithful to them and protects them. Doesn't say they're corrupted. That's your misreading. And that's Ibn Kathir's misreading. And other Muslims, they're misreading. Now let me read what's why. It can't mean that. If it means that, you're in trouble, Itisham. Let me just read what he says here. Narrated by Al Qasim, narrated by Al Hussein, narrated by Hajjaj, narrated by Ibn Juraj, narrated by Mujahid, related to Muhammad, over means the Quran is a protector, a witness, and a confirmer. Confirmer. Narrated by Muhammad ibn Sa'd, narrated by his father, narrated by his uncle, narrated by his father. Narrated by Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, which you mentioned, Ibn Abbas, who stated that we brought down upon you the book, in truth, confirming what is between your hands from the book, refers to the Quran, which is a witness to the Torah and the Gospel, and confirms both of them. Ibn Abbas means a guardian over it. That came before it. So that's Ibn Abbas. But you know what? What's also amazing, Itisham? One of the other views by the scholars, one of the other views is that it refers to Muhammad being Muhammad over the Quran. Let me read it. Others have said that we brought down upon you the book confirming what is between your hands before the book refers to the Prophet of Allah. Of those who mentioned this opinion are narrated by Al-Mahni, narrated by Abu Hudayfa, narrated by Shibli, narrated by Ibn Abu Nujay, narrated by Mujahid, who stated Muhammad over it refers to Muhammad who is entrusted with the Quran. Muhammad means Muhammad. Monster kill. Understand what they just said. Muhammad is Muhammad and over the Quran. They're saying that these scholars believe it's not the Quran that's Muhammad and over the Bible. It's Muhammad, Muhammad and over the Quran. Meaning Muhammad was sent to guard the Quran. Are you seriously going to tell us that if Muhammad means what you said it meant? Because I want people to understand what you meant by Muhammad. Muhammad means the Quran is superior to the Bible. It makes the Bible obsolete. It does away with it. But here they said it's actually Muhammad. He's Muhammad of the Quran. So are you seriously going to tell me, Tisham? And I want everyone to hear this. Because Muhammad is Muhammad, he's Muhammad of the Quran, meaning Muhammad now does away with the Quran, makes the Quran obsolete. It's of no use because he's Muhammad. You sure that's what it means? You positive that's no. what it means? That's your interpretation well, of it, and if, you, and if you want me to give you further uh, Quranic verses, uh, no, the Quran chapter 548, 548, we're not going everywhere. All right, I mean, uh, that's your interpretation of it, right? Because uh, the Quran chapter 5 verse 48 is saying the Quran needs to be followed by everybody. you got to read the Quran in its power. You can't just isolate Quranic verses, spin your own interpretations, and just uh, uh, run with it. you got to read the Quran. In, like when I read the New Testament, I, re I try to read it in, a, in its proper context. I don't, I don't take things out of context anymore. I try to read it in its proper context. Uh, the Quran explains itself. So you got to look at other verses of the Quran. Other verses of the Quran says the Quran was revealed to everybody. Quran chapter 2, verse 185. Quran chapter 5, verse 68. Quran chapter 18, verse 54. Quran chapter 30, verse uh, 58. And Quran chapter 39, verse 27. So the Quran explains itself. You got to read other Quranic verses and then, uh, you know, and not just take things out of context and spin your own interpretations. If you do that with the Quran, I can do that with the Bible. And, you know, we're not, we're just not going to
who was getting respond to that real quickly number one that's what you've been doing to the bible you did that to jeremiah 8 8 so you're doing the very thing to the bible that you say you wouldn't do and accuse me of doing that's number one number two that's not my interpretation i just quoted tabri let me read it again tabri tabri and al-qurtubi says the same thing tabri let me read it one more time because you just said it's my interpretation let me read tabri he's not sam shimun he's not david wood he's not a christian okay others have said we brought down upon you the book in truth, confirming what is between your hands from the book, refers to the Prophet of Allah. Others have said, not Sam Shubu, not David Wood, not my mother, not his ancestor. Who are these others? Narrated by Al Mahni, narrated by Abu Hudhayfa, or uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Huhayfa, narrated by Shibli, narrated by Ibn Abu Nujay, narrated by Mujahid, who stated Muhammad and refers to Muhammad. No, that's not my interpretation. That's Tabari quoting these scholars saying that's what they believe, and Qurtubi cites the same scholars. Secondly, you said that's not the contextual meaning. If you read the Quran in context, it means everyone has to follow the Quran. No, that's not the contextual meaning. If you read 43 to 48, even the verse itself, what the saying is, the Jews go with the Torah, follow it. Christians follow the Gospel, and Muslims follow the Quran, was given to Muhammad, and let me prove it to you. The context says you're wrong, at Tisham. Here's 548, the context. I'm just going to read the context. To you, we sent down the scripture truth, confirming the scripture before it, guarding it in safety. Judge between them what, what Allah has revealed, and follow not their vain desires, diverging from the truth which has come to you. To each among you, at Tisham, pay attention. This is the first thing. Yeah, to yeah. each among you, we have prescribed a law in an open way. If God had so will, he would have made you a single people. It wasn't his will for us to be all Muslims or Christians. But his plan is to test you and what has been given to you. So strive as in a race and all virtues. The goal of all of you is to God. It is he that will show you the truth of the matters which you dispute. So dispute. So it Tisham, the verse says that as far as Muhammad and his followers believe in him, they go by the Quran and use the Quran to determine which parts of the previous legislation is binding on them. But then it says to each one of you, who's each one of you? The Jews mentioned in 543 to 45. The Christians mentioned 46, 47. Each one of you, Muslims, Jews and Christians, we gave you your own law, your own way. Follow it. And on the day of judgment, you'll answer to Allah. This is not my interpretation, Tisham. Do you have the study of the Quran? In the study Quran, written by Muslim scholars, open up chapter 5, verses 43, 48. In the study Quran, edited by Sayyid Hussein Nasir, not Sam Shumun, not Sam Shumun's grandfather. They say that that passage shows the Torah is valid, the gospel is valid, the Quran is valid, Torah is valid for Jews, follow it, gospel valid for, valid for Christians, follow it, Quran valid for Muslims. Each respective community follows their own scripture legislation. That's the study Quran. So Tisham, I don't know how much wrong can you be. Open and read it for us. You have it now. Start reading 43 of their comments and read 48 what it says. Read 48, see where I'm wrong. We have revealed to you, O Prophet, this book with the truth as a confirmation of previous scriptures and a supreme authority on them. Judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their desires over the truth that has come to yes. you. Yes. Nope. To each of you, we have ordained a code of law and a way of life. If Allah had willed, He would have made you one community. The criterion is the code.